All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for some more gaming action here today with House Flipper, the game where we're going to fix up old houses, tired houses, dirty houses, wrecked houses, and make a big flippin' profit like those shows on the DIY network or on... What was the other network? The Home Improvement Network or the Tim Allen Network, something like that. If you're not familiar with this game, it is a simulator game where you go into houses, you clean them up, you refurbish them, you replace the appliances, you install new appliances and furniture and paint. Pretty much all the stuff that you would imagine you would do if you were trying to flip a house for fun and profit. So we're going to start a new game here today and absolutely nuke all of my previous progress. And we're going to start by cleaning up to some degree our base of operations. We have purchased this exciting, uh, fun time murder shack that looks like something out of a coming of age movie where the teenagers bone on the tired old mattress there in the corner. And this is where we're going to start a fancy new business to become the most legendary fixer upper people flibbity do folks in the history of ever. My God, this is an absolute pigsty. Honestly, probably not too much of a step down from where we were living before as a fancy bachelor. But, uh, you know, c'est la vous, c'est la vie. Uh, that's probably enough for right now. Let's make some money so we can refurbish this place. By hitting up the old laptop Reno, and we already have an email. Sarah Lewis, the ex-boyfriend, stole the radiator from my house. That's... A very specific thing to steal from someone's house when you break up. I would have imagined something interesting like, uh, I don't know, an Xbox or favorite type of lotion or something like they'll notice is gone and be really butthurt about. Radiator seems inconvenient, but you know. Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from the photos posted on Face Spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole my radiator. And it's possible some other stuff is missing. Please make an order in the house or clean up the house, remount the missing devices, and uh, please don't inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it with myself with my ex boyfriend after returning from a business trip. I have a feeling reading through this that the creators of this game might not be primarily English speaking, or at least were writing out some of the dialogue really quickly. So this is where we're introduced to our first tool, the old swishy-wishy broom that we are going to use to clean this house. I would say the first thing we should probably do is quickly go through and clean up all the garbage, because we do get a certain amount of points for doing this stuff quickly and not wasting a whole bunch of time. And it looks like her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend did more than just trashed the house. Looks like he tracked in, peed on everything, rubbed his boots on absolutely everything, and then got drunk in the process. The drunk part I don't really have a problem with, because there's nothing like a good wholesome uh, wrecking up the house together while binge drinking kind of affair. But the rest of this, I don't know. It's kind of gross, a little bit. Suppose if you were trying to get revenge on somebody you are about to break up with, you'd probably go wipe your shoes in duty. Dog duty before doing the stuff with the things. That looks like all the trash. So let's hit the number two button and bring out the old whisk broom. So for the rest of this, it's kind of like the game Viscera cleanup detail that I've played a whole boatload of. And at one point was crazy enough to try and 100% a number of the rooms where you just look at different objects and then you can mop them up by using this broom. And then as you do different tasks, you can get points for that specific genre of task that you can then use to get talents that make your life a lot easier. So I like the long range thing where we get a good mop that makes our life a little bit easier. And I was told by a friend of mine that the first thing you should do is get any talents that speed things up or get you more money. That way you can maximize your return so that you can buy better stuff on future projects, or even just for that project itself, because you get higher points if you can purchase nicer things to renovate the home, like you would at one of those house hunter shows. And then once you're ready with a room that's all nice and clean, you can then purchase the devices that you are missing so that you can mount them. 
But I think first I'm going to actually set these chairs back up. Because they're giving me Ajita and also getting in my way. Let's actually get this table back to where it's supposed to be. There we go. That's not absolutely perfectly lined up, but that's not what I was hired to do, so me. So we need to get a radiator. Let's go to the buying tab. Let's go to radiator. And this looks like a small radiator, which is cheap. Because, well, I can't be asked to spend too much money on this job. You're not exactly paying me like a king here. And in this interface, our objective is we need to click on each different component to slide it into place, screw it into whatever socket is there, like we're an actual handyman or woman, and then turn it on so that the house gets all the proper heating that it needs. So this room is all nice and clean. Now we just need to clean the dirt and the gunk out of all of the other rooms. And as you can see, now that I've upgraded my talents in the cleaning department, I now have a lovely whisk broom slash mopette that it cleans a whole boatload faster than I did before. And this room's about 50% clean. What am I missing? The sink. The sink is dirty under the toilet. I would imagine in a lot of drunken rampages, the toilet is probably the first thing that gets uh, messed up for a mixture of using it for its intended purpose and also the vomiting. Just a, just a thought. If I was a vanity like this, where would I put it? Let me close this door. Would I put this in the corner? This is kind of used for generic storage. Would it be by the bathtub? No. Need actual room to get out of there. I would say back here by the door, because you still need access to the outlet. We'll, we'll definitely get into style components a little bit later in here. In the meantime, he's got a little bit more dirt to clean up, and we are good to go. Like right there, we now have 100%ed this first house. And there is actually an achievement that you can get if you 100% each and every one of the houses as you go through them. And so the idea here is, as I learn new skills, and as I unlock new tools, I can slowly renovate my office. And then eventually, I would guess, haven't quite gotten that far because I want to record some of this, I would guess eventually you get a fancy, prancy new one. That is absolutely delicious. So I'll just clean up some of the outside of my little office building. So it doesn't look like a complete hobo lives here anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, Stan the Hobo is a pretty stand-up guy, but like, I got stuff to do. I've got a reputation as a fancy home renovator matron to uphold. I can't be going around looking like my base of operations is a uh, mud hole. Although, depending on what part of the town I'm in, this could be Waco, Texas, for those who watch those DIY shows. Uh, this could be the style of the area, I don't know. I don't ask too many questions, they just pay me to do the stuff with the things, and I do it. Uh, that's, that's good enough for out here. Let's do a little bit of spring cleaning inside of the building, so I have some quality of life. I still haven't been able to figure out how to make these cabinets not derpy when I was playing before. That might be because... This is buggy right now, but, uh, or it could just be for- whoa. That is super off-kilter, hold on. Let's not do that, shall- oh wait, maybe that is the problem. Maybe it was off kilter, away from the wall before. Oh, that's totally what the problem was. I see. Yeah, the cabinet's still all screwed up, but that's fine. Oh, that one's just broken. Okay. That's why I couldn't set stuff on it before. That kind of makes a little bit of sense, I suspect. Let's put this on the floor over here. Let's pick this up. Line it up. Pick this puppy up. I guess this is kind of like a hot plate range, as opposed to a proper stove. I'm gonna want to buy a proper one, because I'm not a hobo. Tidy you up a little bit. Can I use this to clean the bed? I bet I can. This is one of those games where obviously it's not gonna be a realistic simulator. The whole point is you get in, you get like the microcosm experience of cleaning up a house. 
And then you get your butt out of there and move on to the next game. All fancy schmancy. Uh, that's a very filthy bathroom. I am not- I'm gonna poop at clients' houses. To hell with that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Alright, so what's our next job looking like? Let's see here. Mail. We have two jobs. Cleaning a garage or reinstalling radiators. Well, we've already kind of gotten into the swing with cleaning stuff, so let's go to Caroline Smith's house. Hello, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, trash, and old tires. Please don't forget to clean the windows. Then it's better to not to move the tools. My husband doesn't like it when someone moves them, and he can't find them afterwards. Regards, Colleen Smith. All right. Simple enough. Clean your filthy garage and leave the tools and other Hoboygan alone. And don't rob the rest of the house, Larry. Larry, I said don't rob the rest of the house. Larry! Larry, I said don't rob the rest of the house! Fine. All right, side voice in my head. I won't rob the rest of the house on camera where there's evidence. I will leave the doors open, though. This isn't a badly designed house, actually. I kind of like it. It's very simplistic. What? All right, I have not actually seen this in a while where people blend one wall into another. Usually it's just a clean break when you use more than one paint. Okay. Very modern, I suspect. What? Am I lost already in the rest of this house? I think I might actually have done that. Here we go. Garage. Yay. We're in the shitty part of the house now. Oh, that's right, let's start with the boxes. Uh, the bikes can stay there, I guess. Maybe? Those aren't technically tools. And they said throw out all the shitty boxes. But, uh, leave the rest alone. I kind of want to set those up, though. I feel like those are going to fall over and then going to knock my knees into them or something annoying. That was just something I was doing for a while here at my house, is I'd go into a garage somewhere, and I'd bang my shins on, say, the old snowblower, and like I'd just have a cut or a gash on my leg, and then right as it healed, I'd bash it into something else. And this went on for a good couple of months or so. Drove me absolutely up the wall. I'm not so clumsy that I fall on stuff for the most part, but sometimes I just derp out when I'm walking around, I'm not paying attention, and I'll just bang my legs into every little thing. It's only when you're paying attention that you notice it, too. Like, I'll, I'll have, like, bruises and cuts and stuff on my legs and arms when I'm working outside that I won't notice because I'm busy. But then we were just trying to get, like, one simple little thing and then go back into the house, then all of a sudden it's like, crunk, bang, splap. On every single surface, on every single thingamabob. Ugh. This actually isn't the dirtiest garage on the planet, to be fair. I might eventually share with people a picture of what my garage looks like, because now that I've inherited, like, the maintenance of it, I'm gonna have to clean up the everything inside of there. And organize it so I can actually use the tools to do proper maintenance! Yay! This is actually something I kind of liked about this game, was random, realistic window cleaning physics. Where you use an actual squeegee and not just the same broom in order to clean it. This was always something I found very satisfying in real life. Was meticulously squeegeeing the windows of like, say, a car when you're out and getting gas or something. Maybe you go to the grocery store or whatever. Okay. Own photos and images. Have you noticed that using the gallery tab on the tablet, you can choose any image from your hard task and use it as a poster or a picture to hang on the wall? You can also use the camera tab to take photos of the game and save your work on the disc. I... okay. I really don't want to save grimy photos to my wall, though. I barely even like this wall hanging, and this one's got leg. Mmm. Mmm, baby. Yeah. You work that thing. You work that socket wrench in places we don't- we shouldn't talk about on YouTube. What? I just fixed this! Stop that! This- I hate this place. Well, not really hate, but... I feel like I, with a starting budget that I have, I could have bought a much nicer place to work out of and also sleep out of and eat and... 
you know, do living things, but who knows. Eh, okay, I'll clean the toilet. I need somewhere to poop. Really, I can't clean the stains out of the toilet bowl and there's no water in it? Did I get the one place where the water got shut off, like, in 1986 and has never been turned back on since? So all the pipes smell like old feet? I'll bet that's exactly what's going on here. Eh. And then this thing's all jankled. I'm gonna need to sell that, I can already tell. And to do that, I'm gonna need a different tool, so we better hurry up and get to that, shouldn't we? Alright, let's go back in the old mail. I will pay you if you satisfy, or, or if I'm fully satisfied, or you get nothing. Winter is coming. The winters are hard, and there are no radiators in my house. Mount them. That's a, that's an oddly aggressive mail for a business. Like, I'm re really, I'm here to fix up your house. I'm not here to s steal from the rest of the house yet. I gotta build up a better reputation before I do that. Alright, so you need radiators in this house. This room is pretty good for a radiator. I've actually never been in a house that has radiator wall heatings. I am currently in a home that has baseboard heaters, which is kind of similar. But most of the ones that I've experienced have been like massive furnaces or central air style, like instant on heating. So what do I need? A towel radiator. Oh, I got a negotiations thing. Um, let's negotiate the prices round. And then what other perks do I have? Penetrating vision for cleaning might be nice. See some dirt in the minimap. Eh, maybe. I think I like faster cleaning, though. And then I'll upgrade to the I Ultra Hyper Mop 2018 in a little bit. I haven't done any demolition or painting, so that's fine. What is a towel radiator? Is that like a radiator that heats the room and also dries your towels? Because again, I've not experienced these pieces of equipment, so I'm not really certain what the heck that they do. They look pretty standard for installation, though. Kind of like you're installing stuff that you bought from Ikea. From a flat pack. Which I've definitely done a few times. I used to have an office chair that was for tall people, which is one of the biggest qualms I have about being a tall person. Is you can never find comfortable chairs to sit on. And it only lasted me a few months before... The, whatchacallit, the springs in it gave out from being used regularly, and then I had to, like, duct tape the springs back in, but after they started bending the structure, trying to escape, I was like, to hell with it, and bought this one. So let's see, faster mounting, faster plastering, or faster tiling and paneling. Well, so far we've only been mounting things, so the rest of that stuff seems kind of pointless. So I'm not going to worry about that. What other rooms need stuff? So this room has got a radiator, and it looks like it's properly installed. So it's not that one. Is it this room? It is. This is the baby's room. I understand not letting your children freeze to death is probably a good thing. Probably. So we'll go ahead and install this puppy. How would you be particularly unsatisfied with the job done in this house? To me, installing equipment is kind of like a yes or a no thing. If you do it correctly, there isn't going to be water spurting everywhere. And stuff isn't going to be on fire or anything. But I guess there's a lot of crappy handymen out there that will half-assedly set something up and then just leave a coupling unturned so that when you turn it on for the first time a few months later, it spurts water everywhere. Or it just looks grody and damaged and scratched up. I'd almost say that one seems like the most likely culprit is just being the least delicate thing on the planet here. And scratching and marring up the whole thing. What else do I need to... Is this a room with tasks? No. This room? No. This room? Got this one. What else did you want me to mount in here? Oh, a sink! A sink. Buy sink and mount it here. Okay. Or I guess in my case, being a spaz and not making sure you've installed everything correctly. That looks like an open sink, so let's put a mountable sink right here. 
I actually know what sink I need for this because I accidentally screwed this up before and bought like a really posh nice sink for the corner like you would do in case you have guests over to, you know, impress them. But the game's just like, no, Larry, you're thinking too professionally. What do you think this is, sir? This isn't actual house hunters. This is just a simulated game trying to teach you stuff, you butt monk. Just uh, put the stuff together and make the dollarinos. This guy didn't ask for posh, all right? He asked for very passable, I could live in it if I had to, garbage. There we go, pladink. How are these hoses hanging if they're not already plugged in up there? You're crazy, game! Also, there's usually a lot more screws involved when you put in some of this other stuff. Okay. I'm also not used to the, like, U-trap being a physical elbow as opposed to one solid piece. That's kind of nifty. And there's a new handyman skill available. All right, well, let's do... Tiling and paneling. I feel like plastering might come up a little bit sooner, but I don't actually know. I've not really encountered either of these when I was playing this game before. But that looks like we're good to go, so let's hit enter and hit complete. The rooms are perfect. You put in all of the things I asked for and didn't light the house on fire. Congratulations. You did it, Larry. My god, fancy man. All right, so what, uh, what's the time on the clock? It's been about 20 minutes of this game, so I think I'll stop here for this episode. Thanks for joining me, everybody, for more house hunters, or house fixer-upper, or house crazy people who shouldn't be allowed to have handyman's tools and roam around the dead of the night seeking out sheep's blood in Simulator 2018. I will catch you next time. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. I'm planning on making it into a brief series. So please like and subscribe, and right around now some videos should be popping up on the screen to let you click on some more videos. You should do that. I would appreciate it immensely. So until next time, I've been Larry, have a good one, and toodles, froodles.